Hey guys, this is Matthias from Ontology. Thank you for watching. So this is the first video in a series of uh, learning videos. And in the first video, we will go across the documentation, show where to find it and how it's uh, structured. So usually when you will find the documentation, you will find it uh, through our developer center. And in the developer center, you can also find information about our hackathon, about uh, our recent developer news, about our components and our development tools. So if we scroll down, we have the documentation here, which will take us to this side. So in this side, we have structured it uh, that way that the first one is uh, a section called ontology. And this is mostly for people who don't know the project uh, before. It will start with a brief introduction where you can read about the, the features and a bit about why ontology is unique. There is some description and visualization about the, the infrastructure and the different layers in the, in the project. Then we also have uh, our consensus mechanism, which is a VBFT. It's a quite unique one, so I recommend you to check it out. And this is how the, um, the network is governed. We also do have some uh, introduction to smart contracts along with the uh, ONT ID, which is our distributed identity framework. There's also distributed data exchange framework. And finally, in here, you will find our white papers. The next section is called the developer guide. The first one is the developer guide itself. And no matter if you are a beginner or experienced developer, I would recommend you to go through this one. This is where you will learn how to get ontology and install it, how to uh, deploy the node and interact with ontology and eventually uh, uh, play around with the, the smart contracts. So for instance here, we can see how to get and install ontology. You can download the latest uh, version, latest release from our GitHub or you can simply go into your command line and fire off this query that will get the latest uh, installation. So once it's installed, we could, for instance, go to the section called how to interact with ontology, and we can uh, open up some of the GLL guides, which will lead you to some other documentation and so on. The next one under uh, developer guide is the toolkits guide. So we try to make it really easy to get started with ontology and we develop a uh, full toolkit uh, framework for that. For instance, we have our Punica suite, which is a framework for dApp. We have our SmartX, which is a IDE for smart contract development. We have a developer wallet called Sino. We have SDKs in different languages dapi.json, ontology CLI, signature servers, and ontology API. We also have a visualization here where you can learn about the dApps, toolkits, SDKs, and APIs. The community, especially the technical community, is a cornerstone in the ontology project. And if you go into the contribution guide, you can see uh, how to help solve bounties for us, how we will reward you, and how you can get involved further into the technical community. One cool thing here is, for instance, that we have allocated 10% of the total token supply to the technical community, and this is equivalent to 100 million ONTs. The next section is uh, the quick guide. We have uh, developed uh, a set, section of guides which will help you get started uh, very fast with development on ontology. One, for instance, is the DApp development. Here you will learn how to uh, create and develop smart contracts with SmartX. You will learn how to deploy and invoke these in a private net setting, but also you will be able to do it on, on testnet and also how to use our Sino wallet. Then we go further down to the products the, the toolkits. We have uh, Pionica, which is the, the framework for DApp development. And in this, you can read about our Pionica suite that consists of uh, Pionica Box, uh, Solo Chain, and, and Pionica. 
Next section is uh, SmartX, and as we said, SmartX is our uh, one-stop IDE for smart contract uh, development. Then we have the Sino wallet. Finally, we have our SDKs, DAPIs.json, Ontology CLI, and our signature service, and Ontology API. So hopefully, when you play around and check out all this uh, documentation, you should be able to grasp ontology, technology, and the, the project. If you have questions about this, I recommend you to go into our developer center, which you will find on our main website, and go into our Discord channel here, and then you can ask questions in the development channel. If you want specifically to talk with me, you can add me as a fluid underscore DK in Discord, and then I will help you get in touch with the relevant developers. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned with the next videos coming up. We will try to explore a bit more specific about the, the uh, products and the tools, and also some thorough guides to how to interact with ontology. Thank you.